good morning sir so starting with could you give a brief about your company ahad builders since its inception good morning let me welcome you first you are welcome here uh, ahad builders uh, in fact uh, started in the year 1975 by our beloved father mr abdul ahad and he is no more with us unfortunately but this company has seen a long passage from many ups and down and now it is a very very settled company and a prominent role playing in bangalore and uh, we have been known among the public among the people of bangalore as on time before time delivered company mm -hmm. we have been recognized by one and all okay so what sets you apart from the rest there are so many builders in the market so what sets ahad builders apart from the rest acha like i said little earlier on time all time is our prime motto okay. and then i think if every builder, every builder adopts to this on time every time on time before time uh, they would be very a successful one and we have been doing that and we have been blessed with our customer who are our family members they are very well helping us in doing this so and then we have been very very successful the reason why we have been little other, unique from the other builders is only the number one does number two we have a dedicated team a very very dedicated team who are confined to the scope whatever provided to them and they have been very successful okay. and then uh, more more oddly to tell you that we deliver everything before time than the scheduled one that is all on time before time okay. so that is how we go so how many projects have you completed so far uh, if i may ask you uh very true uh, i don't have a real count of the project but if i can tell you of last 2 3 years mm -hmm. i think uh, they are not less than 219 219 projects 200 mm -hmm. they are all very successfully delivered project it mm -hmm. is not just completed for the sake of completion from the day from the time of launch to the completion as i told you earlier that they are all we have a dedicated team the other two directors are, in fact they are not here they are very busy uh, the unique thing about the ahad builders is the directors themselves get involved into the construction okay. which is very rarely seen which is very very rarely seen in the construction activity they themselves get involved along with the full team mm -hmm. and of course the results are there to see so today quality of construction has become one of the major challenges for most of the builders so what is your company doing in this regard so as to you know attract buyers and keep them satisfied today's market is a customers market right see as they say customer is a king it is very true customers are really king and uh, now everybody is into it they go into the deep of the product what is being used by a builder in fact uh, they do a lot of r and d on this they do a lot of r and d on this and then we have been using branded material branded material sometimes the branded material is also and along with that what stands in the market it comes standing uh, such kind of material is being used which has the prominence for its use not only by its name by its, by its use and then long lasting so of course that is the prime reason where we are doing it mm -hmm. number two it is worth their money see whoever pays at the rate of 5000 6000 6500 or there are projects which we have sold it for 4500 also they are all worth for me see mm -hmm. if a customer pays this much so he is happy for next to 10 15 years of course the escalation is always there but along with that he is definitely happy <coughs> so which is the main segment uh, that you are targeting or your projects belong to affordable mid or luxury Uh, <clears throat> this is a very good question see actually the real estate is focused on only two aspects one is the mid section mm -hmm. the other one was the upper one the cream one of course cream one there are certain builders who have taken the owners and them they are doing it all through but we have been providing from day one the mid section people between 50 to 75 like 50 to 1 crore 50 to 80 90 leathers and we have been very successful and it helps lot of people a people drawing a salary of about 40 45000 rupees is very very happily accepting this concept mm -hmm. 
so uh, what are your current uh, real estate projects in which cities are uh, are you targeting at and uh, what areas if in bangalore uh, more importantly are focused on bangalore and as well mysore okay bangalore as i told you earlier we have as many projects in and around bangalore and now the things are happening on chajapura road mm-hmm. we already have three projects on the chajapura road so one by name ahad euphoria then the other ahad meadows the other one is in the pipeline which should come through so uh, chajapura road many things are happening Mm-hmm. compared to the north bangalore also north bangalore also equally developing but the shajapura quite good happening because it is surrounded by lot of software industries very very good schools malls hospitals more than anything hospitals and so most of the things are happening on the shajapura road and we have for time being concentrating on that we have already three projects and two of them are going on one is underway so they, we are likely to come up with one bigger project on the very mm-hmm. same road Mm-hmm. say about uh, close to about 800 to 900 apartment of similar okay. this kind so mm-hmm. we are likely to have that so can you elaborate about your uh, project ahad euphoria which is located at sarjapur road mm-hmm. so what sets this project apart from the rest in the vicinity yeah it's a good question see as i told you sarjapur Sh- road is a place where everything is happening now right. many many are focusing on that of course the traffic nadal snarl was there it is there everywhere but compared to that but still sarjapur is the road where everything is happening i must compliment the classic automotives here they are our sole marketing people they have put their soul into this and they have sold it i think when compared to the market there we have almost completed 60% of the sale within last february to this march that means one year we have completed uh, this we have taken one more jump up now as we promised we always we are all known for the promises the promises which we made we gave them a distinct rate of three three components we completed two we are into the third component of the road red and the classic team has definitely helped us a lot and they have done a good job i must appreciate them i must really thank them too so can you elaborate on the project what uh, i mean what kind of a project is it how many units are there so can you tell us a little more about the project yeah it is close to 700 apartments okay it's a combination of both uh, i don't say very high end high end and uh, i mean mid mid section also mm-hmm. so it has uh, variables like uh, 2 bhk 3 bhk 4 bhk mm-hmm. and then penthouses also penthouses are not really in demand we have oh, been able yeah. to successfully sell even the penthouses when i say we are selling it is always the credit goes to classic okay. so and then the one and two bedrooms are also in good demand and three bedroom was really in good demand two bedroom i think we have almost to sold everything okay. so we have little more to sell in this uh, two bedroom we have lot of amenities why this is very special on the road uh, the number of amenities what we are gaining mm-hmm. probably it is exceptional i don't say we are number one i would be wrong if i am to say that we it is very very exceptional very exceptional we have given the first time probably squash court is given then the skating rink is given uh, so absolutely we have lot host of host of amenities are there yes okay so what according to you you've been talking about sarjapur road so what according to you will drive uh, growth at sarjapur road in the near future because there are a lot of projects coming up in the area True. so it is going to be choco block with number of projects and the traffic so what do you think will drive growth in uh, sarjapur road in the near future yes sarjapur road as i said that it is happening place number one no doubt mm-hmm. about it the present infrastructure what is available there is is somewhat okay with the present population over there as the population grows definitely the infrastructure has to be taken care by the government mm-hmm. along with that we builders are also coming forward to provide whatever possible from our side mm-hmm. there are many builders who have already come forth to take up the road take up the uh, private parks and things are like that we are also offering some facilities for the people like that if there is a ppp then if you definitely the road i mean uh, shajapura would be number one in the bangalore as of today so uh, another thing is that if you see the real estate industry as of uh, sector as of now the there's a huge inventory pile up across cities and yet stats are showing that there's a housing shortage in the country so what factors do you think will help builders 
clear the inventory overhang and bridge the gap between the supply and the demand number 1 i do not agree with you saying that there is a lot of inventory okay. absolutely not we have had the kridai in bangalore karnataka bangalore in particular mm -hmm. we have had a survey done by jll mm -hmm. where the inventory is only 2% 2% it is very very unfortunate when the press or the uh, elect not electronic media takes up they say the project which is launched they take into consideration saying sir it is unsold stuff no it is not an unsold stuff mm -hmm. the project is taken up it has to come up to certain level put to market then you consider that is unsold okay. then there is a uh, you know justification for that but otherwise we do not have anything excess over there but in fact uh, uh, yesterday's uh, bill which has been pre presented yeah. uh, i do not know how helpful you, helpful it would be to the builders or to the customers but we wish as a unit to credai will definitely put it across them saying that certain relaxation we require uh, it will definitely come up into the discussions so how do you see the real estate market scenario in bangalore vis a vis other metros like mumbai delhi i think uh, we are very well aware with the reports available right. bangalore stand sometimes number 1 number 2 it has been uh you know shuttling between 1 and 2 1 and 2 and then as said i think it's shortly it is going to come as number 1 bangalore and then they are doing wonderful wonderful all the builders who were launch are launching their project they are catering to the needs of all the people that like, there are people who want only one bedroom there are people who want two bedroom three bedroom four and then penthouses or villas for that matter sites all this is coming up i think uh, bangalore is of course a standing out place and the future also it's going to be in standing out so the uh, another major challenge that uh, the real estate sector faces is construction delays so and those could be because of multiple reasons i am not uh, you know pin pointing that it's because of the builder you know you have your own uh, issues you know in, in getting uh, government clearances and etc so the you know uh, because of which ultimately the customers have been suffering to a large extent this is particularly true in the delhi ncr market <coughs> uh, so what is your take on it and i mean you mentioned earlier i agree but uh, so what uh, key factors that you consider as uh, you know our builders considers while you know starting construction so that your customers are happy and the project is not delayed at all it's a very welcome question <coughs> because this needs to be known to the public because it is known to the uh, builder and the government the public do not know our customer do not do not know our purchaser do not know see what happens here the onus is being fixed now with the regulatory bill being passed i mean likely to pass today mm -hmm. is being fixed only on the builders which is wrong see for example i give my plan for a sanction it doesn't come through to get a letter from them either yes or no for want of some document it will take minimum 6 months what do i do in such case i would have given people that i am launching a project on such a such a day i will have nothing in my hand i have nothing in my hand to launch my project so that way i think the government should take uh, my point into consideration saying that the owner should be on the sanctioning authority as well the builders builders are not only responsible for the delayed project the government one year they don't sanction one year they don't even sanction the project now for example pollution board they say that in the vicinity of the lake we don't sanction the plant where would the builder go so that is how it is hand in hand if the government is sanctioning the project quickly the project is completed quickly and the customers are happy so but uh, i mean you know there are a lot of pre launches even the top notch uh, builders are having pre launches yeah. that is to say they don't have the sanctions all the sanctions in hand and yet they pre launch it so investors are Uh, you know happy to grab that because they it comes at a lower cost so do you think that uh, pre launches should be stopped because in a way the money of the customers is getting blocked because of the reason that you know sanctions are not given so the builder uh, ultimately has to delay the project so do you think that step the first step to stop you know a uh, kind of construction delay is that would be to stop uh, pre launches would that help to no, some extent it's a, it's a, it's a wrong notion pre launch okay. happens only when mm -hmm. you have 75 to 85% of sanctions available 
Okay. The other 15% we will have NOCs. Mm -hmm. We will have endorsement from the department promising us that they would give. Only such cases the free branches will come into existence. Number two, number one. Number two, the customers are not always all the re investors only. There mm -hmm. are people who would be eagerly waiting when there is a pre launch. They would get at some different price, which would be very helpful for them. So, along with the uh, investors, there are people who are the end consumers. They will also be doing the same. Mm -hmm. So, I think pre launch it cannot be stopped for simple reason because genuinely done. It is not that. Uh, it will hype the market or anything like that. Absolutely not. They will have sanction. At least 85 percent sanction okay. is available. Next 10 to 15 percent, they are being assured that they would be sure. So only such cases pre launches will come. But this is not true of Delhi NCR market, where you know, I mean, you know, in Bangalore context, I understand. I've moved in here 10 years back, and I very well understand that. But in case of Delhi NCR, it is just the opposite. They have no plans in hand. They just have the ba they just own the barren land and they want to pre-launch the project. So, I I meant when I said we should stop this. So that should be you know considered that it is illegal to go ahead with that. What is your take on that? No, I am not very well sure about the Delhi and this year here. But Bangalore, what happens is, see, we are being provided with a commencement certificate that is called CC. CC. See, once you have a CC in your hand. The customer is not closing his eyes and coming to buy that. He would look in. There is a legal book. There is a sanctions available. They would turn the pages to see that whether the sanctions are there or not. But I do not know how it is happening in Delhi. But here in Bangalore in particular, they would definitely look into all the sanctions, all the NOCs, all the particular provisions. Then only people go through. We will. So as you just mentioned, the real estate bill has been passed yesterday in the yes. Rajya Sabha. So what what is the you know impact that it is going to have on the real estate market as of now if i may ask this is really a good question it needs to be assessed and it takes a little more time but at the outset what it looks like mm -hmm. uh, the overnight builders will vanish okay. uh, there are places where the builders have migrated from different different places with a lot of money in their gunny sacks and come here and put it in the bangalore try to grow and they do only one one project and such builders will vanish definitely vanish those who have their foothold they need to be more more stronger because the bill it is not in favor of the builders at all it is not encouraging to solve the housing scheme okay. in fact uh, for example 75 percent in escrow where would the money come come from where do we spend the money where will it come from we collect the money we build for them the agreement itself says we are taking money from you, building and handing over to you. But if it escrows, I don't know how does it shake, how does it happen, we'll have to wait and see for some more time. So what are the main pros and cons of the bill? If I, let's say what are the pros for it, for the, of the yes. bill? At the very outset, the bill is looking very pro of uh, bias. Yes. It is not in favor of the builders. But uh, if, uh, I'm sure that if somebody who has heard uh, the yesterday's debate, there was one MP who was asking, if it is one apartment, even then also it should come under this regulatory. The now basic point they are discussing is under eight apartments, okay. but yes, applicable. There is one uh, MP, I think, I don't remember from where he is. He says, why the seven should uh, suffer? If you put it for one also. So that is how the people mind against the builders. But hopefully we will deliver the goods and then, then they realize that what builders are. Okay. And what are the cons for the... Bill? Uh, bill, one way it is very, very good. It is very good. See, like as you said, Delhi, Noida, then some parts of the uh, other parts of India, they are all uh, misusing. They are definitely, I don't say no at all. They are not, uh, they are misusing, but that will definitely stop. In fact, not only it will stop, it will come to zero level. So, lastly, what are your expansion plans? Uh, and what kind of projects are you looking to launch in the near future? Let's say one or two years down the line. Yeah. Mm. We have uh, thought over of uh, going into layouts also. In fact, we have done it in Mysore and we are launching one Ahad city in Mysore. We are launching one. And here also we are getting into villas. Now our main focus is with the apartment. Apart from that, we are getting into villas and the layout. Mm -hmm. And we have next two, three projects to be launched shortly that may take another year or so.
Okay, sir. Thank, thank you. you so thank much. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you.